We also like to bring our foldable wish, 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 oh. <laughs> reflect of spring. <laughs> Thanks, Timur. Okay, so you might have noticed already, but we have labeled every single piece of equipment. Okay, so you might <laughs> so you might have already noticed, but we have labeled every single piece of equipment. Okay, so you might have noticed already. <laughs> okay, so you might have noticed already, but we have labeled every Okay, so you might have noticed already, but we have labeled <laughs> two. Hi, my name is Kay and I am Timo's girlfriend. And we work together as a team. Yeah. Oh, he's standing here. <laughs> um, so this weekend we'll be flying to Italy. We will be filming a destination wedding in Italy. And I wanted to show you what we pack for that destination wedding. Okay, so first things first, I always start with packing the most important stuff, which is, ooh, <laughs> passports. Thank you to my dear assistant. Okay, next up is, <laughs> so we use this one. It's very light, compact, and we also have these, um, small suitcases that we can bring into the airport and one carry-on luggage. So before you start packing your bags, make sure to check with your airlines what the measurements of the luggage is, because it can definitely vary uh, a lot and you should make sure that you can bring all your important gear that you need on the wedding day with you on the airplane, so not in your checked-in like luggage. All right? So let's get started. Um, so of course, we are going to bring our camera. We use the Sony a7 III and um, we have one here and you are the other one. So I can't pack that one yet. So let's put that in our luggage. Then we have six batteries for the Sony a7 III. We use these ones here. Okay, so we have the batteries. Of course, we need an SD card. We have six of those. 128 gigabytes of Extreme SanDisk Extreme Pro. We have six of those and we always use our dual slot in the camera to uh, make sure that we always have backups on a, def on a separate SD card. So I'm using a packing list that I've created um, just to make sure that I don't forget anything and also to make sure that we take everything uh, back with us, back to our home country when we uh, come back from, that, uh, from filming the destination wedding. So I will leave a link in the description for you guys so you can download that packing list for free and I hope that will uh, help you as well. We have... One dual charger and we have one quick charger from Sony which charges very quick and that's great. So we all also like to bring our cage and our hand grip. Um, so if you want to learn more about which setup that we use when we film a wedding, make sure to click in the top here, I guess. Uh, we will link the video that Timo created for you that's all about the setup. Of course, we also need a tripod. We bring two of these. Um, these are the Manfrotto's 290 Extra, made in Italy, and we're going to Italy. So that should be amazing. Um, we have one here, the other one is under you. So um, yeah, keep your head up and stay there. And we will pack you later. Let's move on to the next category, which is lenses. We use um, two Tamron lenses, 28 to 75 millimeter zoom lens. We also bring our Viltrex 85 millimeters. And of course our Samyang 2.8 to 
35 millimeters. It's a very light and compact lens. We also bring our ND filters with us. It will probably be very sunny. The ceremony is midday in full sun, I think. So um, yeah, we will definitely need those. And of course, cleaning wipes. We use these uh, paper sheets that are very handy and we put one in every bag so we always have them close to us. So let's move on to the next category which is our um, monitor. We use the Shinobi Atomos and of course we also have batteries for that and the charger we use, uh, we have two batteries for each monitor. These are the NP5750 batteries and they last pretty long but we have a full video about how to set up the Shinobi Atomos and we will also link that for you here in the corner. Okay, so we have the monitor, batteries and the chargers. Thank you very much. These ones, we have two of those and that's about it. When Oh, the cables. The cable, of course, we need that as well. Okay, so um, let's move over to our audio gear. This is the Sony uh, clip-on mic. We use them a lot for when people randomly stand up and do a speech. We run over to them, clip them on, and we record that audio just like that. And you hardly notice them, so it's very easy to use and will definitely, rec definitely recommend them. Um, we have two of those, so we can always switch up when someone else is talking. We can already put the mic on the next person. Okay, so this is our backup audio. It's the Zoom H1N. We use this uh, during a ceremony or when there's live music. We uh, take that tripod with it, screw it on top of that and put it under a table or something like that and point it in the direction where the audio comes from. Um, yeah, it, this one runs on uh, AAA batteries, so we are also have to make sure that we take these batteries with us. Um, we use rechargeable batteries because that's a bit better for the environment. Um, these ones, and we also have the charger, of course. Okay, so we have two test cams. Um, we love these, one for the bride and one for the groom. They are very small and the audio is amazing. So what we do when we strap the mic onto the uh, bride is we put this test cam into the leg strap in this little pocket here. We put it in there and then put this around the leg of the bride somewhere in a place where you don't see it. And then we wire her all the way up, put it in the bra and oh, we also have these stickies. So these are very small uh, stickers where you can uh, attach the mic to the skin so you don't see the mic, but you can hear the audio amazingly. So these test cams also run on uh, AAA batteries. And um, one it's only one battery, by the way. And um, they actually last a pretty long time. When usually a ceremony is about an hour, and I've, I've mic'd them like a half an hour before, or even an hour before the ceremony, and I still had more than enough uh, power left in the battery. So we take about eight of those rechargeable AAA batteries, but we mostly don't even use all of them. Very important, don't forget to bring micro SDs for your uh, microphones. So we have three of them, so two for, uh, we have 32 gigabyte sand disks, two of them for the test cams and one of it for the Zoom H1. So by the way, that reminds me of one thing I forgot to mention. Um, these Sony's, they have internal memory, so you don't need an SD card and you also don't need um, uh, batteries because you can charge it with a micro SD cable. So the first secret tool that you shouldn't forget to bring when you are filming a destination wedding or basically any wedding is tape. I like, 
I love to eat. <laughs> No, just kidding. Um, so yeah, white tape, tape, you can use it for anything. And I, even if I don't need it, there's always someone else, someone, some other vendor that needs tape. So you can also easily make friends with tape. Definitely remember this tip, bring tape everywhere and always. Okay, our second tool that you definitely should bring on a destination wedding is this power strip. So first of all, you never know how many uh, power outlets you have in your hotel room. And uh, the second reason why you should bring this is in case you go to a country where they have different power outlets than your country, you only have to bring one adapter and then you can just charge your gear as usual. Okay, so secret tool number three. <laughs> Sunscreen. Protect your face, protect your arms. Oh my God, you don't want to be burnt like a lobster when you shoot a wedding. So make sure to bring your sunscreen, people. Let's move on to the next category, which is storage. We like to bring our own laptop and of course, an external hard drive. This way we can um, back up our footage during the wedding. We also like to use our foldable we also like to bring our foldable with oh. <laughs> reflective <laughs> screen. <laughs> and we love folding it back together. <laughs> it's surprisingly easy. Okay, let's move on to the next category, which is the drone. We have the DJI Mavic Air right here, and we have three batteries, so we will take all of them. So before you even leave, make sure to check if you are even allowed to bring the drone into the country and if you are allowed to fly at the specific location where the wedding takes place. Okay, uh, of course we also need the controller to control the drone and don't forget this cable of your phone to connect with the controller. We also bring a set of spare repel. <laughs> <laughs> We also like to bring a set of spare propellers because you never know what's gonna happen in the air. And um, the ND filters. If it's very sunny, you will definitely need those. Another thing we have right here is the signal booster and we love to bring that as well so we don't get out of touch with the drone. Of course, we also need Chargers for everything. Chargers, chargers, chargers. Let's not forget that one. Uh, one thing you can uh, also take is a fanny pack. I love to carry that with me uh, for spare batteries, SD cards and everything I need. Then in case you need an adapter for your power plugs, if the country doesn't have the same power outlets than your country, make sure to check that. We don't need them right now, so we're not bringing it, but it's something to keep <laughs> so you may have noticed it already um, but we label every single equipment that we bring with us we put like uh, I, I bought this label maker I will also link it in the description below it's very easy to use you just connect it with the uh, Bluetooth to your phone you download an app create a label, print it, easy as that. And I use it for everything. So what we've done is we put little labels on everything from our drone to the batteries to the uh, SD cards, like chargers, everything. Because I have this lovely boyfriend who has a tendency to leave his stuff around in places that are so random that you will easily forget about it. So what we've done is we put like the labels on it with our names and our phone numbers so that in case we do leave something, people can always uh, connect with us so we can uh, see how to get it back. So this is not only for destination weddings, it's for every wedding, it's very handy. So before we end this video, I would like to remind you that you can download our packing list for completely free. The link is in the description below. And we also created a vlog about our Italian destination wedding. So if you want to see that, continue watching and make sure to 
like and subscribe hit the bell do your thing you know what to do right bye bye